Hey, good evening, Trey. We're right across the street from the University of Mississippi Medical Center where a woman named Doris Whitaker works as the head chaplain. And earlier this week, she was cleared to head back to work here at the hospital after she and her family recovered from COVID-19. I went through the process and got cleared to go back to work. I'm so excited. I love my job. Wife and mother Doris Whitaker returned to her job as the director of pastoral services at UMMC on Wednesday. After battling with what she thought were allergies, she tested positive for COVID-19. It was a shock. It really was um, a shock to me because I wasn't really expecting it. Whitaker, who also serves as the associate pastor of Harvest Celebration Evangelistic Church in Byram, says one of her sons tested positive too. Her husband and other children haven't showed any symptoms. Whitaker says while she did experience fatigue and some shortness of breath, fear was her main antagonist. And I had to pray my way through. I had to pray my way through. According to John Hopkins University, just over 102,000 people worldwide have died from COVID-19, but more than 376,000 have recovered. That includes more than 28,000 survivors in the U.S. Not everyone, not even a high percent of those diagnosed with COVID-19 are hospitalized. And of the ones that are hospitalized, it's a very small percentage of those that actually die. COVID-19 is a reality we all need to take seriously. But Whitaker encourages you to focus on the silver lining. We came through it just like so many other people, so many other survivors. They are walking through this thing and it will be OK. It will be OK. Whitaker says her bout with the virus has motivated her to take better care of herself. If you suspect that you have the virus, Whitaker encourages you to ask for help and not to linger in fear because you can survive, too. Reporting live in Jackson, Jewel Hillary, 16 WAPT News. <laughs>